guys, Max May here, and I am back with another video on Curse of Arrows. Mm -hmm. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to handle the Ancient Warbat at a low level. Now the first thing you need to know about the Ancient Warbat is, if you're a respectable level, um, you, say you have Spectral Sword, Phantom Sword, you know, the Ancient Warbat's really not that hard of a boss. But if you're somebody like me, I have a lone wolf account and I'm in real need of some glacial armor or say if you're just really low level and you want to come after this guy he can be tough um, he does have a lot of hit points and he can his special attack he can bring spikes up from the ground and hit you and if you don't move in time they can actually one hit kill you if you're a low level um, so you want to bring some scrolls down here let's go ahead and bring the pet out pretty much anything you can do to um, deal damage to this guy. Uh, scrolls of Deflection actually do work. A lot of people don't consider the Scrolls of Deflection, but the Scrolls of Deflection will actually return damage to the, whatever is hitting you. So just any amount of damage in any form or way to help you kill this guy quicker. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drink our potions now a little tip and a trick a lot of people just seem to don't know is if you push the war bat over to this left wall he will no longer summon the spikes up from the ground I don't know why maybe he's just out of range for that ability to trigger but as long as you push him over to the left wall he will no longer send spikes up from the ground and the reason this is important is because when you're low level and you're just trying to consistently deal damage to this boss to kill him you know the last thing you want to do is to be running around trying to dodge uh, the ice spikes coming up from the ground I mean if you're in a bad position like say you're north of the ancient war bat um, he's a pretty big graphic so he could actually summon spikes that you may not see and you just don't want to get hit by them plus you're wasting time if you're having to move out of the way and then get back to attacking move out of the way of the spikes get back attacking move out of the way and then you get hit while you're moving you got to drink potion so just to avoid all of that hassle we're just going to push him over to this wall right here like you just seen me do and he will no longer even bother summoning the spikes from the ground it just it just makes you able to just sit here and consistently deal damage so the way to do that, you just want to start out on this side of him, and start attacking him, and then we'll just push him. We'll just push him straight over here. And then once we get him over here, we do not have to worry about the spikes. We just sit and just deal damage and uh, drink her potions. Like I said, it's just it's just so much easier not having to worry about moving out of the way of the spikes to have to attack the ancient warbat. Um, the reason there's no volume in my video is because I record everything on my phone and um, the sound of the music or the attacks or anything kind of overrides my voice so I don't use that too much. But yeah, I mean it's that simple. Um, just make sure, you know, try to keep you some scrolls or some relics. Um, like I said, I'm a lone wolf. I don't have very many scrolls or relics right now. I just made this account like two days ago. Um, in fact, I have no relics at all. I haven't even started woodcutting and trying to make relics. But yeah, if you're low level and you're really just trying to get you some glacial armor, you know, come and kill this guy. Push him up against this wall to avoid having to uh, deal with his special attack. And uh, make sure you have a scroll of deflection active. Like I said, um, you may not think it really matters, but at the end of the fight, I mean, it deals damage back to him as much as, you know, 10%, I think, of what he hits you. Um, so at the end of the day, I mean, it, it does its fair share of damage. So it's really, uh, in my opinion, worth um, summoning that. So again, we're just going to push him right over here. Um, I, I'm not sure why um, when he's over here next to this wall, he no longer summons the spikes. I, I, I'm not sure if anybody else knows this. Um, I discovered this uh, years ago when I was fighting him we wound up over here by this wall and I just noticed that he never did summon the spikes and I've been doing it ever since and I've never seen him 
use that special attack <clears throat> as long as we were over here on the wall. So, um, but it's a pretty easy, consistent way to kill this guy. Like I said, you don't have to run around. You just sit here and do damage. And uh, it just helps you get the fight over with quicker. Oh, somebody just got a phantom sword. GZ. GZ on that. Man, I wish that was me. Alright, guys. Anyway, so just a quick and easy way to kill the Ancient Warbat if you're low level. Um, if you're a higher level and just disregard this video, you're going to be able to uh, kill the Ancient Warbat no matter what. I mean, on my main, I can stand in the spikes as they come up and never have to move and still kill them. But hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, subscribe and like for more videos. Hope everyone has a good day. This is Maxima over and out.